Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button. I'm here in my flat after coming back from Max uh, off the field. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 3.46pm. Right, it's been fairly quiet this morning. Um, no noise, no nothing remarkable. Then my mum rings the phone, my mother, and we start to get a bit of a racket. Music, loud music, and I'm starting to write the diary again. So here is my diary. This is going to be the diary for 2024. Because I actually found the diary from 2023, guys. So this is going to be the 2024 diary. This is 2023. Um, here. That's my diary from 2023. So obviously we are now getting harassed on the field again. So I'm going to start writing the diary. And writing down the times, times and dates of what's going on. Because two two women were behind my back and deliberately letting their dogs off on the field. And Max is tiny. So we're having to get his women, females. So guys, what has happened today is that I went out this afternoon. There was no loud music. No one was booming music out inside the flats. It was quiet. And I am refusing to go up and see my mum. And I feel that people are trying to put me in quite, you know, could be dangerous situations and annoying situations. So I'm being forced to get in contact with my mum. And I'm an adult. I don't want it anymore. Right, so if people put loud music on, I'll put loud music on to cover that loud music up. Right? It's as simple as that. It's simple, but I'm now going to start documenting what is happening now that I'm not going up to see my mum and what people are doing to try and make me go up there. Right? So usual time, two o'clock in the afternoon, get ready, take Max for a walk. And it's been really, really quiet. The walks have been lovely, no problems at all. <coughs> so I uploaded a video and I was talking about me being fat. People saying that I was fat, me Crystal was fat, which I do get a lot of. So I walked downstairs. Um, check my mailbox and I've got some mail which I'm going to show you in a moment and then I was putting my rubbish in the bin and I could see someone outside the bin store and I really I don't often get that I'm usually completely by myself inside the bins and there was a guy on the same floor as my neighbour upstairs coming into the bin store as I was coming out and Max barked he did bark because we don't normally get that um, very occasionally. Max is pretty good. So her dog started bark uh, barking as I was going into the bin store. The disabled lady in the wheelchair with the wig on. Her dog started barking and coming towards me as I walked out of the front of the building. And I went into the bin store. I threw my rubbish out. And I kept cool, calm and collected and I went, walked past barking dogs basically. They kept barking and barking and barking behind my back. I decided to go onto the field because I wanted some fresh air and, you know, I'm just tired of going for little tiny walks. I wanted a bit of fresh air and a break. So I got onto the field and... There was my father, Derek, look-alike, with his cap on and his baggy trousers. And he had the boxer dog. And I just and he had his back turned to me, his back. 
So I just walked onto the field and I started walking around it. I let Max off on the lead and we was having a jolly good run. These two women appeared out of nowhere and they decided to walk across the field towards me instead of walking around it. They had a load of places to go. They could have gone round the back or round the other way, but they chose to cut across the field towards myself and Max, whereupon a big black dog and a white brown dog started running really, really fast towards me and Max. And then they cut off and ran off together. And then as I started walking, I did it, I've, you know, dogs don't move because I don't know if they're dangerous or not. I, you know, the, you know, I don't know if they're dangerous, do I? So basically, I stood still. This one dog swerves past me and it's out of breath. <laughs> it's breathing because it's panting because it's been running all over the place. My mother, Jennifer, has breathing difficulty, so I've got this panting dog running towards me. I stand still, then I walk past and I continue to do my tip-top video and ignore these ignorant women behind me. I just completely ignore them. I don't engage with them at all. I just carry on and keep walking. I'm not being bullied by women into doing things I don't want to do. And that's what's been going on a lot. Females trying to get me to go out with blokes that I don't want to go out with. I don't want them. I'm quite happy on my own. During the afternoon, I'd had a message, are you okay? Am I okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. I said, I've got a blood test in two weeks. I've got an ultrasound scan. And then the person said to me, well, would you like me to come down? And I said, no, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm all right for the moment. So it's really strange. So I get these two women, like, setting their dogs off towards me. Like, trying to make me phone someone up, like, I need someone to look after me. I've been coping quite well by myself. I don't need men in my life uh, controlling my finances, thank you. Because that's what happens. And I'm fine. So I came back home, and here I am now, and as I was coming in the back way, there was a, a grey-haired man with glasses, and he said to me, are you coming up? I said, no, I'm going to get my post. He was a nice man, he was going to open the door for me, but no, I wasn't coming up with him, I was going to get my mail. And this is the mail, it's a letter from all Hyde Houses which is my landlord and this has come from Hereford Hereford which is near to Gloucestershire I wrote an email and asked Hyde Housing for a copy of the rent that I needed to send to Medway Council I haven't received an email from Hyde Housing with a copy of the letter asking me to pay more rent. So in between asking Hyde Housing for a new rent letter, I actually found the old woman, the old one, the old woman, that's me, the old woman, I found the... Uh, the original letter from Hyde Housing. I found it. Uh, if I bloody left it again, though. Is this it? That's the county court judgment letter. Right. So, if you don't pay your rent, you can get kicked out of your flat, right? Get kicked out of it. So I'd lost Hyde Housing's letter saying they'd put the rent up. And I emailed Hyde Housing, my landlord, for another, could you send me a copy of the, the rent that you put up? And they have sent me a rent card. Very nice of them. Please find enclosed your new rent payment card. Matthew Osler. 
I found Hyde Housing's um, letter and the rent has gone up from 120 the rent here has gone up from 128.87 a week to 138.79 per week so they put the rent up 10 pounds this year now i've got to send that letter to my council medway council a copy of this letter all of it which i found but a hide house if you don't pay your rent a landlord can kick kick you out but I'm a secure tenant and they would have to take it to court to get me out of my home. So basically I've got to make sure that Medway Council gets a new rent before the 1st of April. So I found the letter and I'm going to send it to them via email. The next item is a heavy duty plastic tablecloth. I have cats, I have pets, and Harry is causing havoc all over the place and he's breaking everything to bits and he tore my tablecloth to pieces. I had a rainbow tablecloth and he shredded it. So this is like plastic and not paper. So hopefully this tablecloth will be better over my table. So Today is going to be a brand new day of the diary. Obviously a lot of things have gone on since the last entry, which was Sunday, October the 29th, 2023, when Matthew Perry, Friends actor, dies. Matthew Perry died. This is the last entry in my diary, Sunday, October the 29th, 2023. Now, I'm being forced into writing a diary because I am getting harassed by females. One of the women had... I'm just describing the woman, women that were behind my back. She had a waistcoat on like I wear. She had rather large breasts. And she was stood with another woman. And she, they were both letting the dogs bound all over the place at a fast pace. When I see people, I make sure Max is on a lead. I don't let him cause havoc. Right? So you can imagine joggers trying to jog round the field, right? Women and male joggers jogging round the field and a couple of big dogs jumping all over them and bounding towards them. They must be terrified. Some people think they own that field, right? Dogs can not only bite you guys, they can actually cause terrific damage when they jump on you with their sharp claws. And a dog did jump on Charlie and it nearly knocked him forward. And you've just got owners not giving a flying fuck. These, these women were, were enjoying it. They were laughing. There's some sick fuckers out there. See you later.